Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. So yes, you heard correctly. Um, the title, the name of this channel um, has changed. I will be making the official changes in a couple of days time. So of course, you know, I'm Fifi and Gigi is now on board. This week, she has already started to upload um, you know, financial career and general reading. So there's not really a focus on love um, as I will. So nothing has changed and nothing will change with this channel. My readings fee will always be here uploaded in Australia every Wednesday. What we are doing though, Sagittarius, is we are uploading more content for you, more insight, more value. Um, so if you just, uh, you know, if you're curious, you want to know about your romantic personal love life, and then you can, you know, from there you can go and watch Gigi's reading. She'll be uploading it always in your dedicated uh, playlist, Sagittarius. And as a reminder, she will definitely be focusing on money, um, career, fina uh, finances, yes, uh, general, and anything else that the cards want to reveal for the collective. So most likely, Sagittarius, when I upload this video, in uh, probably an hour, two, maybe three, Gigi will be uploading your general reading as well. So that is going to be really, really exciting. Let's get straight into this reading, uh, Sagittarius. I'll also have to, yes, I'll put uh, the new title, the new name for the channel and a new profile picture. Both of us will be in it. So there we go. So Sagittarius, for this week's reading, I do want to focus on a particular person where you are wondering what is their next move? Hmm? Um, what are they not telling you? Uh, are there any secrets? Now, when I say secrets, secrets can be a good thing. Maybe, you know, of how much they can't wait to tell you how much they love you. And of course, if there's any challenging secrets, it's always there for us. Because sometimes the tarot allows you to dodge a bullet as well. So let's see, Sagittarius, everything and anything you should know. Let's see. And of course, the more cards I see that does show secrecy, like the moon or the high priestess, well, there's a lot that uh, the cards do want to reveal for you. Let's do this another two more times, please. Until my spirit team tell me to stop. Excellent, here we go, Sagittarius. Also, for those that have not yet subscribed, I do invite you to subscribe if you want to. Um, to this channel. That way you never, oh, highlighted message there. That way you never miss out on a reading that I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday. And of course, Gigi will be uploading after me. It's just weird how our names rhyme. I'm Fifi and she's Gigi. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, so she'll be focusing on other areas. All right, here we go. Three more. Ooh, all right. So when this happens, it's a, uh, how could I say this? I call it like the explosion of information. It's like my spirit team is saying, hurry up. Tell Sagittarius everything. All right, here we go. For my lovely Sagittarius. Now, the highlighted message that came out, ooh, interesting, is the Page of Swords. That's the ultimate messenger. That's the true communicator. It's ruled by an air sign. Could be Libra, could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Your person can be any star sign, but someone wants to talk to you here. And it's all about what? The truth. Now, this is very good for you to see. The sword here which represents communication, honesty, and truth. It's not down, it's not up, it's on the side. It's progressive energy, so it's on its way to you. And of course, I feel like this person, whatever they want to say to you, it's like a hard truth or it's complete brutal honesty. So yes, yeah, sometimes they delay themselves, they procrastinate because then maybe they're afraid to tell you um, something. It could be, you know, oh, I've always loved you or maybe we're not talking because I, I did this, this and this. So it is definitely uh, the truth, a very important conversation in the next few weeks coming up for you. I always say welcome it. Welcome the Page of Swords. Whoever this person is they know you you know them because it's going to offer clarity so you know it's such an important energy that it doesn't actually need to be part of uh, the spread let's see the overall energy for you sagittarius okay we have the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn now this is someone that might be crossing their fingers and toes that you're perceiving them as someone grounded reliable someone stable with a good head on their shoulders there will be hot topics here in regards to you such as a commitment, engagement, marriage, the home, you know, the family here um, as well. Let me see, what else do we have? Yeah, this person, uh, this is far from over. We have judgment. And that is Scorpio energy. 
Number 20, this is a really good card because judgment actually, once we see judgment in any form, the fact that it made an appearance, it actually speeds up the pace of the rest of the card. So definitely for some of you, it could even be the next few days or the next few weeks. This is about your person having what? An epiphany about you. It's like the aha moment. It's like, oh, okay, I know what I need to do. This is about resurrection, right? It's bringing something back to life. It's asking for a second chance here as well. You know, it's almost like uh, the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's like, Sagittarius, I'm back, but this time it's going to be better than ever because your person to some deep level, they have changed but for the better though. Let's see. Okay, now we've got the king of cups very strong scorpio energy could also be a cancer or a pisces i'm actually really not getting and now that i'm looking yeah i'm not getting that this is two different people you might actually have been dealing with two different people in the past as soon as i saw it though uh, my spirit team said this is the same person this is someone that loves you very deeply they have been holding back on their emotions here so I'm wondering, are you talking to this person? Because, you know, with that page, it's a little bit conversations here, a little bit there. It's a little bit inconsistent or really it's just no talk at all because I feel like they're planning this return and it's going to be all about communication. Uh, I have to say this to you, Sagittarius, this person absolutely loves you. And it's all this grown up energy, regardless of your person's gender here. It's very grown up king energy. This person really, really, really deeply cares for you. I feel like they want to be back in your life, but this time they want to be here to stay because it wasn't easy in the past. Look at that. The five of wands, that is Leo energy. Everyone's arguing. We know that the fives here are all about changes, challenges, transitions, but also about regret. They may have done something, they may have said something to you, or even both of them at the same time. And that caused a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos. There's a clash of your person's ego here as well. A lot of interference. You know, we have a lot of, as I said, conflict, arguments, finger pointing as well. There definitely could have been also competition for your person's attention as well, especially in this case, if they actually were committed to someone else as well. That's not for all of you, but uh, they certainly do not want to argue with you. But let's get to the main reading for you so that is a lot of overall energy that's happening uh, behind the scenes Sagittarius the current situation as it stands right now between you and your person look at that we've got the ace of wands Aries Sagittarius Leo energy you might be dealing with another fire sign could be strong in their chart somewhere but this is what a passionate new start it's almost like the card is saying Sagittarius the situation might seem very dire very grim very vulnerable and fragile here you might be really upset with your person but this ace is telling you it's time to get excited now because there is a change especially with judgment and of course this will be your call but this is a passionate start it's one that lights that fire in your belly and suddenly it's like i feel like an extrovert you know i can take on the world i'm so excited about this brand new beginning that is here the energy that's like the most probable energy that we're seeing right now between you and your person let's talk about you um, and your, you know, your thoughts, your feelings about this person and the connection. Okay, we have the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. So some of you might have children with this person. And if you don't, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, but I will list all the main energies of this reading. It seems that uh, Sagittarius, the vast majority of you are quite nostalgic. You have been thinking about this person. Maybe it's like the last argument, the last conversation you had, which I feel like it did not go well. It's like, oh, maybe it was a little bit too harsh or I shouldn't have said this, but I think it's almost like we're thinking about better times here. And many of you would like to entertain the thought of perhaps something, having some form of reunion here as well. The potential is looking amazing. I can see it. If you're waiting for your person, you're not going to have to wait that long, Sagittarius. I'm happy to say that. Whatever issues are between you, I feel like it can be worked out because sixes are all about healing. It's about peace and harmony here. All right, your person. Let's talk about um, how they view you and the connection. What are they secretly thinking here? Ah, I got to run back to Sagittarius. That is the Knight of Swords. That is the fastest moving knight ruled by Gemini. Could also be a Libra or an Aquarius. They literally cannot get too fast enough. And how interesting with the placement of the cards is that this knight is looking at you. They're looking to the past. They're looking straight at you. They literally cannot get too fast enough. So the next few weeks, Sagittarius, is going to be very pivotal. Uh, I hope I said that right, pivotal. <laughs> it's going to be very important with changes, offers, all in the form of communication. In other words, I can almost feel your person's energy here for the collective watching this. It's like, I come in peace. They don't want to argue here. Absolutely not. But in saying that, what is happening behind the scenes that you are unaware of, but now you are? Here they come. 
Wow. You got the chariot cancer energy. Regardless if this person is a couple of minutes away interstate or overseas, here they come because you got now the fastest moving energy in the deck. There is nothing faster in this entire deck than the chariot. So you got the fastest knight, you got the fastest moving energy. It's a major arcana. They're planning a very strong return. This is all about determination. It's their willpower to face whatever happens, even if they think it's an uphill battle just to get to you, to put your walls down. This is a major card of that victory where it's almost instant, a brand new successful start with this person. The beating heart of your reading, Sagittarius, this can often represent mutual energies here. There's the high priestess, Pisces energy. Yeah, I think this is something you can both agree on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe your person was keeping secrets. Maybe they were being a little bit mysterious. But that's the thing, Sagittarius, you know, it, it, it really works against them. Don't lie to a Sagittarius. It's right underneath you. You can smell BS a mile away. It's she or he who knows the truth. This is all about secrets. It could even be lies. You know, mysteries, very important conversations um, and knowledge that was hidden that's about to be exposed. I feel like your person, there is so much they want to tell you about and I'm getting how they want to fix this because it's a major arcana here. And I feel here secretly, yes, you are still longing for your person. Absolutely. This is my quiet card. You pretty much don't have to do much, Sagittarius. Here they come. All the action is because of your person. What else does your person want to secretly um, do with you? They want to talk. There you go. You've got three kings. There's a lot of grown-up energy here. Now, that is very strong Aquarius energy. And again, of course, it could be a Gemini or a Libra. They want to talk to you. This is someone you have history with. They know you like the back of their hand. You know them like the back of your hand here as well. This is what's desperately needed, yes. And interesting to see is that usually the king of swords has one sword. Here they've got two so I feel here it's going to be more than one conversation. Note that we have the page, the knight, and the king of swords. That is a lot of communication coming in. And if they were very cold toward you at some point, even toward the end, they're going to be telling you why. And I can't wait to clarify these cards. There definitely couldn't have been too many people around this connection. Like it was a very loud relationship. Thanks to the people around your person. Whatever issues um, that you had between the both of you, whether it was communication or there was a lot of arguments because your person was acting out, they do want to fix this though. So let's talk about your person's hopes, but also their fears here. This is what they're, remember, this is all secrets. What's their next move? Yeah, the five of cups. They're more afraid. I'm going to be really honest. The five of cups, Scorpio energy here. Um, yeah, your person, and that's a big card of rejection as well. It's another five here. So they're feeling a bit, well, guilty, embarrassed, ashamed here of what they've done. Yes, they are crying over spilt milk here. They're looking at everything that they have lost, but we still have some cups upright here. So there is still hope. And how you perceive them here, they're not, they probably will never say that to you, but how you perceive them, what you think of them, it actually means quite a lot to them um, as well. Mm. And more often than not, when I do see that five of cups or if I see like the four of cups or five of pentacles, I do see a person secretly here with the high priestess. They're being very good actors and they've got to have a bit of a poker face. They are suffering in silence of what was, what could have been, because I think they couldn't see the future now. So, yeah, the big I th it's they have hopes, but the fears are pretty big here that you may reject them as well. They could also be secretly over drinking just to kind of numb those feelings as well to help them sleep better at night. Let's talk about the near future. What do we have? Nice. We've got the six of uh, pentacles, Taurus energy. We have the bull right there. This is again, sixes all about healing and it's equal give and take. That is the only thing you ever wanted from this person and it's free. It doesn't cost your person anything. This is what they want to do now. Beautiful. There may be some topics here for some of you about what's been happening since this period of perhaps not talking, a lot of challenges, spousal support, child support, you know, money, debts, um, loans, that's all being paid off. Mm, yeah. So, you know, this is all about equal give and take. Your person wants to balance this. And I feel here secretly you're wondering, well, can this be balanced? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm actually going to say absolutely. Let's see the outcome. What does your person secretly want to achieve with you in the outcome? Excellent. We've got a major arcana and that is you. Temperance is strictly ruled by Sagittarius energy. So clearly they want to work things out. They know they need to be patient with you. Take it one day at a time because this is the complete opposite of the devil, which is the card of extremes. 
and it's again equal give and take we have the angel pouring should be cups but it's all that energy here one you know from one cup into another equally and they know that to salvage this connection they need to only come back with that white flag which represents peace balance and harmony this indeed can be worked out we're going to be finding the balance whatever issues we had in the past even if your person just disappeared you know if there was an argument or whatever decision they made they've had a lot of growing up to do we're seeing so much grown-up energy here i do want to clarify these cards though uh, I don't really feel here, and I have to be very honest, like mentally and emotionally. Uh, look at that. The Knight of Swords again. I just split the deck. Um, that's your person. I don't feel that your person is doing the best mentally and uh, emotionally. I feel like they miss you. And there's a lot of things that they said or they did. And even if they ended it, they're, they're in like, they're living in regret now. Now, I think what's happening here is that now that you know you're probably not together or it's on again off again it's now they're realizing it's like i had it really good with sagittarius and i didn't appreciate sagittarius mm, okay let's see two more last one perfect all right sagittarius they've been doing a lot of thinking here a lot of contemplating bottom of the deck page of pentacles capricorn energy virgo and taurus that is the student card. Amazing, huh? They have learned met big, massive lessons here on how to properly treat Sagittarius, on how not to treat Sagittarius. Um, you know, don't get fired up. And every time something happens and they get scared, you know, don't don't just run away, right? Interesting. Now, for some of you, there also might be a bit of an age difference here. Like I said, there might be children here involved between the both of you, or maybe you have they have children from someone else. Um, but yeah, the Page of Pentacles we know is messages with a small offer, but I feel here they want to see you face to face. This is like, for me, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles is more, I want to see you face to face. They want to look at you in the eyes. They will be reaching out to you first. The Two of Wands, that is Aries energy here. So that's them taking, I mean, they've been contemplating, should I reach out? Should I not? Should I reach out? Yep, I'm going to reach out. It's going to happen after that you got my favorite card i make a big deal every time i see the sun leo energy it is indeed the happiest card here the fact that it made an appearance it's and this is your reading sagittarius you are going to have a happy outcome this is going to be a win-win for the both of you absolutely pure happiness joy bliss blessings look at that the hierophant now that's Taurus energy. The hierophant, hierophant here is all about commitment. It's all about marriage. So for some of you, I'm picking up, you're either very committed to this person. You're probably married to this person. Things were going good, but then this happened. So who interfered? What was the outside forces that your person here had very poor judgment as well? There we go. It just confirmed it for me. The Three of Swords, Libra energy, third party situation. And then you had to go and defend yourself. Seven of Wands. Wow. Now, remember, a third party, it can be infidelity. It doesn't have to be. It could be friends, family, even co-workers. It was something, even, maybe distance or money that was causing that fracture here. And with that sun, which is a very powerful card, it's a major arcana, they're going to come and heal this. So let's talk about that Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. The end of tough times is behind you. The Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. This has already happened. Where there is an ending, we have a brand new beginning. This is a fresh new um, relationship now. The 2.0 version. We're starting on a clean slate. This is about loss, endings, separation, divorce, where you feel cheated, you feel betrayed here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is considered the worst card in the deck where we hit rock bottom. But it's saying, you know what? No more you're getting this so it's almost like this card is not predicting anything it's actually telling you this the worst of the worst is behind you Sagittarius now you're going to be blessed with a brand new ace of wands let's talk about you ten of pentacles strong Virgo energy I think this is all that you wanted security stability something strong and grounded commitment marriage the home the family the children the house the dog the cat creating your own family traditions or just even having that luxury of continuing on existing family traditions here you want it all and guess what Sagittarius you are going to have it all and this is all upon their return but I am seeing first it's a series of conversations that first need to happen kind of all in order just to clear out the air now here comes your person that's a very big action card judgment again amazing so we're really solidifying what your person is doing they're making that judgment call to come back they're going to ask you for a second chance here. They want to work on this. They want to work on the issues. 
the chariot. So this is what's happening behind the scenes. This is their next move. Yep, and it's all geared toward you. The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Regardless of your gender, they're taking passionate action toward you. Wow. There's a lot of action here. And it's all your person pretty much just sitting up and saying, I'm going to boss up and I'm going to take charge of this. I don't want it to end the way it did. I think that deeply bothers them right here. The High Priestess, please, is clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Now, that is Capricorn energy. Okay, both of you have been making some decisions here. We know that twos are about choices, decisions, the yes, the no, the pros, the negatives, the ins and the outs. So yeah, you know, your decision, I think it's a very important one is, okay, I may want this person back. How far do we take this? How much do I let them back into my life? You know, the big decision that your person here had to make was, do I actually come back to Sagittarius without them rejecting me? And if I do, what can I offer them that's different? How can I show that I've changed here? So I really see here that, you know, any worries here between the both of you will lessen or will completely disappear. The, uh, the King of Swords, this is what you both need. What your person wants is to talk to you. The Five of Swords, more Aquarius energy. Yeah, this is the biggest fear is that how you perceive them. I already picked that up with that Five of Cups. Yeah, they want to talk about perhaps their selfish actions, some selfish words, and also some selfish people, like that three of swords and the five of wands that interfered as well. Because, you know, this card is highly linked when, you know, people maybe around your person are quite jealous of you, intimidated. They don't want you and your person to be happy. That's absolutely terrible, toxic energy. And that's the best, the first thing that your person wants to talk to you about as well. So that's good. In other words, let's get the, the hard stuff out of the way. Let's talk about your person with the five of cups. Yep. In their, um, well, we're going to say hopes and fears, but this is their hope. This is their wish. They want the world with you. We have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Even if your person is at a distance, whether this is, you know, someone close to you or it's a long distance relationship, I'm really happy to say this to you, Sagittarius. This is congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. This cycle, such a difficult cycle here has closed. Now we've got a brand new one. The world, now that has made an appearance in your spread, is considered a very good omen, very lucky. It's very favorable that this crying and getting that stress and tired of fighting and defending yourself, that's exhausting. We've got a brand new cycle, a brand new chapter. The Six of Pentacles in the near future, yep, is clarified by the Six of Cups again. More Scorpio energy. So you have the Six of Cups got the six of cups again and I think this is a mutual decision you both want this reconciliation you both want to come together and first work out the issues because you're both quite nostalgic you're thinking about each other about what was in the past what you could have had and what you probably most likely will have in the future as well I mean you, you come out in your own outcome here clearly there is unfinished business and I am seeing a very strong past life connection and we are wiser for it in the outcome. Look at that. The hermit, strong Virgo energy, the wise sage. We've got now the sage here. The, you know, we can see the hermit casting light into the situation, into the future. And we're also seeing that, okay, there is this, probably a snake in the grass. That five of swords, the three of swords here as well. Both of you will be starting now from wisdom and experience, not from scratch. I like seeing judgment and hermit because it shows to me that both of you have learned lessons. We have really grown up. I'm seeing a lot of grown up energy, very mature energy now. Doesn't matter your age, it's going to be better than ever. These issues, how they hurt you, how the other people hurt you, it's all going to be worked out, working together as a team in unison. Sagittarius, beautiful reading. Thank you for joining me. This is what you can expect in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I will see you very soon. And also don't forget in your dedicated playlist, I will actually announce it on the community page as well on this channel when Gigi uploads your financial career and general reading as well. So enjoy that. And I thank you for joining me. Bye Sagittarius.